Police have arrested not one, but two teenagers in connection to a deadly shooting spree from earlier this week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Siobhan Bryan and I'm Jamie Ball. That news coming down in just the last hour. The spree left much of Charlotte on edge. So let's get you straight to our Jason Puckett. He is live in Uptown tonight outside CMPD headquarters. So Jason, what more do we know about these two arrests? Yeah, an 18 and a 16 year old were arrested this morning, accused of a spree of shootings Tuesday morning. Now, police say there's actually evidence that if these arrests had not been made, that the shootings could have continued. Police Chief Johnny Jennings earlier today calling these brazen crimes and saying the department took these as serious threats to the city. Now, to recap a bit for you here in the span of about 30 minutes Tuesday morning, police say the suspects did multiple drive by shootings. Three main victims, 58 year old Mustafa Muhammad was killed, another man on his bicycle was shot and is expected to be okay. Lastly, after shooting at a group of people on the street, a bullet actually hit a woman inside her a nearby apartment. She's also expected to be okay. Police say the arrest came after an officer saw a car driving erratically this morning and pulled it over. They found a 16 year old inside with a stolen gun and linked him to these crimes later arresting 18 year old Carlos Diaz this afternoon. Um, it was good old fashioned police work. Our officers in the right areas at the right time knowing what to look for and being proactive. Based on the evidence and the actions that the officers observed, there was no doubt um, that he was going to continue his crime spree. Talking about the 16 year old there saying that while they don't know his motivations, they believe that this would have continued without the arrest. He will be sent to a juvenile detention facility. Meanwhile, 18 year old Carlos Diaz is in custody tonight with the Mecklenburg County Sheriff's Department facing numerous charges, including first degree murder, conspiracy to commit murder, five charges of attempted murder and more. Police say they don't believe there's any further threat at this time. For now, here live at CMPD headquarters, Jason Puckett, WBTV on your side. All right.